my philosophy for cybersecurity is actually pretty simple. It's prevention first and everything else second. Uh, if you're looking at things in the way that we view cybersecurity across multiple industries, if you can prevent the action from taking place, if you can prevent the malicious intent from actually being able to succeed, uh, then you all the rest of the technology that's out there becomes secondary. It becomes hygiene related. It becomes collection related. It becomes post mortem. Uh, but if you prevent the damage from occurring, then everything else is just business as usual. Well, nation state adversaries are categorized in many, many ways. Uh, so normally what we look at when we think of nation state adversaries, it's someone with greater capability than the organization you represent. Um, and that could be a criminal organization, that could be a actual nation state, a government with an intent uh, that we find a lot with critical infrastructure. Uh, so what we're looking at is actually what's the threat, what's the impact, and what's the capability. So what do you have of value inside of your organization that could be disrupted, that could be uh, purloined, stolen, uh, taken from you? Uh, and so when you know those things, you can figure out what the overall impact or what the objective of that adversary would be. Uh, so when you think about it from a government perspective, they have intelligence uh, that backs up the sources, the methods, the tactics, the procedures, and, and what the point of a campaign is. Uh, and so when you're talking at the CISO level to an organization, it's understanding what the impact of the organization is, what they have of value, and then how you go about, uh, again, preventing that damage from actually occurring. And if for something, you know, something does happen, how do you uh, detect it? How do you respond to it? How do you isolate it? How do you mitigate uh, that damage? Uh, small businesses usually come down to partnerships and awareness. Uh, small businesses usually don't have uh, the capabilities or the security teams uh, to deal with uh, adversaries, even small-scale adversaries, the way that uh, bigger organizations do. Uh, so those partnerships are usually trusted security providers, uh, technology providers that have preventative approaches. Uh, what you're looking for is a force multiplier. Uh, so in the military, we refer to a force multiplier as any mechanism that allows the soldier to be more than just a soldier or the airman to be more than just an airman. Uh, and so what you're looking for is how do we deal with cybersecurity technologies? How do we deal with awareness technologies? How do we deal with preventative technologies that are going to allow the the business to react at the speed that the system needs to uh, without having to always call the phone and call the fire department and the police and everybody else uh, that has to deal with those issues. Uh, and so it's, it's technology partnerships and uh, you know, awareness. Uh, supporting ICIT is extremely important to our organization because of the, the mission and the effort uh, that the organization puts forth. Uh, so ICIT is extremely important and influential in uh, how the presentations are done to uh, legislative aides, to uh, congressional members, to uh, people on the Hill and in the, in the White House. Uh, and getting that message across that cybersecurity is an important topic, that it's an issue that everybody needs to be aware of, and that it's a, a whole team effort. You know, it starts with the legislation, it starts with backing by the administration, and it filters down through the industry, but without industry collaboration, uh, without that uh, independent think tank that ICIT is, uh, that message gets muddled and lost in partisan politics and political issues. And uh, with an organization like ICIT being independent, uh, it helps us really get the, that thought out there without all the, the cloud and, and murkiness that you may have around political issues.